Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will learn how to install .NET framework on a Linux on a Linux machine. And also we will create a sample ASP.NET Core Web API project as well. All right. So let's begin with the installation. All right. So go to the Google and type install .NET framework for Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Linux based operating system and it is installed on my machine and <clears throat> just press enter and navigate to the official Microsoft website. Here in this website scroll uh, just scroll down and navigate to this table. So this table containing the mapping of Ubuntu versions and their corresponding supported .NET versions. So here let's first check what Ubuntu version is installed on, on this machine. Alright, so to do so just open the terminal window and type command lsp release hyphen a this command will tell us the exact version of ubuntu and this version we can match over here like this this is 22.04 and it is supporting 8 7 and 6 dot net dot net framework versions all right so here i am going to uh, pick .NET Framework 8.0 for installation. All right, so let's further scroll down here. So here's few commands are given. So these commands are basically used for registering Microsoft package signing key to our trusted keys. So it is no brainer just copy these commands these commands as it is go to the terminal paste here and run those commands in one go and after successfully completion of uh, these commands we are good to install our desired .NET framework so like this so we can use this sudo apt install package name command in order to install our .NET framework because all all our Microsoft signing keys has already listed in our system trusted keys. Now we can simply go and install the .NET framework. For example, if I wish to install .NET framework 8.0 8.0 I can simply copy this command and go to the terminal can paste it and hit enter and it will install the dotnet framework 8.0 in this machine since I have already installed the 8.0 framework in this machine so I am not going to run this command all right okay now it's time to to check what version of dotnet is installed in our system all right to check this we have a command name dotnet hyphen version okay hyphen hyphen version okay so here we can see the dotnet framework version is 8.0 all right okay so now we have confirmed that this dotnet framework is installed in this machine now it's time to create a sample asp.net core web api project okay so let's uh, jump into the Visual Studio code 
and uh, select the terminal option from the main menu and click on this new terminal option it will open up the terminal window and now we have to first create a new directory or a folder okay let me create one mkdir and give it a name like a first core api okay this is done now just navigate inside it first core api okay i am inside this directory now let's type command dot net new and the template name which is web api as uh, i am creating here a web api so i am choosing this web api template okay and so we can see uh, the first core api cs proj has been created and uh, now it's time to load this yeah here we can see and the all relevant files are present in this first core api uh, folder now how to build this api okay so to do this we can use dot net build command yeah the build is succeeded and now it's time to run this on localhost .net run this is the command which will mount this uh, api on localhost okay as we can see it is listening on the port number 5000 okay let's go to the browser and try to access this port localhost five thousand okay the page was no web page was found for the web address because uh, as we are using swagger api that's why we are uh, uh, facing this error so now let's navigate to the default uh, url of uh, swagger api which is swagger slash index dot json index dot html all right so here we go okay guys this was all about uh, installing dotnet framework on a linux machine and creating a sample core api if you like this video please like comment and share this video and also please subscribe my my channel thank you